Hello there, and welcome to the official OSIF staking video demonstration. My name is AJ, and I am the social media and community manager here at the Inmarch Network. Before we get started, ensure that you are prepared for the public testing event for OSIF staking. Have the Talisman Wallet browser extension installed. Make sure that you are a verified member of the Inmarch Discord server, and follow the Inmarch Tinkernet on Twitter to stay up to date. If you're all set up, let's jump right in. To access the OSIF staking website, type in the following address, tinker.network slash staking. As you can see, it's a very simple version of our OSIF staking UI. Of course, ultimately when OSIF staking does go live on the Inverge Tinkernet, we will have a much more powerful, aesthetically pleasing UI and an overall user experience. On the top right corner over here, we have the login button, and this is where you'll be selecting the wallet that you'll be using. And on the bottom here, we have the three INV cores of which OSIF staking testers will be staking their tokens to. But hang on, how do you get your testnet tokens for this public staking event? Well, let me show you. Before we move on to the next part of this video where I'll be showing you how to retrieve your testnet token, we will go to Talisman here, which is pinned in my browser, Polkadot account, copy address, copy the exact address. Let's head over to the Invarch Discord here. So now that we're in the Invarch Discord server and specifically the testnet tokens channel, so down to the message box here of where you usually type in a Discord message. On your keyboard, you type in forward slash and then fund. And as you can see here, it shows the full command. So you can just click on that. And so in the field here next to where it says wallet, I will paste my address and it says fund all submitted on chain. So now that I've funded my account with testnet tokens for the OSIF staking public testing event, we can then jump right into OSIF staking. So I'll just quickly log in here and an easy way on how to view your testnet token balance is actually right here in the uh, staking UI where it says 500 tinker. So on the OSIF staking website here, we can see our dashboard. Currently, I don't have any Tinker staked right now because I just funded my account. There are no unclaimed eras yet. There are no Tinker rewards claimed yet. And currently we're in era five of 30. You may be wondering what is an era and how does that play into OSIF staking? So an era is a period of time of when you can stake and unstake. In OSIF staking, one era is one day or 24 hours. Tinker rewards are paid out based on the era's numbers in terms of when an era begins and when an era ends. So every day, an era ends and a new era begins. And when that happens, rewards are paid out. Moving on, as you can see below the dashboard, these are the IMV cores of which all of you OSIF staking testers will be able to stake your test tokens to. Each IMV core here has a PFP, has a title, has a description, has its very own stake button, an indicator of how many stakers are staking to that respective IMV core, and how much Tinker has been staked to that IMV core. So from here, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is decide on whether which IMV core you'd like to stake to. You can stake to one or multiple. We can go ahead and do that together. I'll just put in 249 Tinker to stake, and you'll have to approve the transaction. And there we go. Currently, I have 249 Tinker that is being staked. We can also see here that personally for me, I am staking 249 Tinker to Util DAO. You can also manage your staking. So if you go to any given IMV core that you've already staked to, you can unstake your Tinker here, let's say 100, and the funds will be subject to a seven day unbonding period. You can unstake them. And then we can see here that I now have a total stake of 399 Tinker. And with the WAG Media IMV core, I now have only 49 stake Tinker. And that's how you stake towards IMV cores with OSIF staking. What about claiming your rewards? Let me first say this. If there's anything to take away from this video in terms of claiming your rewards during the public testing event for OSIF staking, it's to claim your rewards every single day. Over here, the current era indicates on what day we are in. As we've said in our announcements, the public testing period for OSIF staking will run for 30 days. Under unclaimed eras, when you see any eras over here, that means that you have eras that you have not claimed yet and therefore you should claim. So it might be a good idea in order to get the best experience out of this that on day one, you start not only staking towards IMV cores, but also claiming your rewards and repeating over again to have that compounding effect. And so let's just say that I do have an era that is unclaimed and I want to claim my rewards. So I'll hit claim all, and then I will restart the process again to then stake those rewards again. And that concludes this OSIF staking public testing event video demonstration. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to me or the team in the Inmarch Discord server. And I wish you an awesome time during the OSIF staking public testing event.